Hello everybody and welcome to another debugging Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the following error right here. Import error, DLL load failed, percent one is not a valid Win32 application. The reason you'll see this error is you're trying to intermix a 32-bit something with a 64-bit something or vice versa. In my case, um, what I've done is I attempted to import PyBrain and I got this error. Now normally this would mean the PyBrain was the incorrect uh, bit version. However, in my scenario, that's actually not the case. It's a little more complex. I, the pi brain is the correct. And if you come down here, you'll see the last thing it attempted to do was import something from SciPy. And it turns out that SciPy is actually the incorrect bit version, not pi brain. Now, again, normally it will indeed be what you attempted to import. But sometimes it won't be. And that could really throw, throw you for a curve because you might not you really pull your hair out when that happens. Um, and in this case, what, it, what happened was I haven't used SciPy since I upgraded to 64-bit Python. So when I installed SciPy, it was a 32-bit version because Python that I had was 32-bit. Since then, I upgraded to 64-bit, so I wasn't being restricted anymore by that 2 gigabyte limit. So if that's uh, an error that you're seeing, you've, you're trying to import something that is the wrong bit value. Now, one last thing I will add if you are running a 64-bit version of Python, many modules are not available in 64-bit, and you'll basically end up with this error if you try to download the only available option. So, what can you do? Um, and actually, you probably won't even get here. So, like, if I try to download 32-bit version of SciPy right now, it would tell me it can't find Python in my, uh, you know, it doesn't, it can't find Python on my machine. So, um, Anyway, so you probably wouldn't even get here, but you would get here if you had previously installed it. Then you upgraded or downgraded your Python's uh, bit version. Then you could wind up like this. Um, but anyways, uh, so some of these things, like SciPy, doesn't actually have a 64-bit installer. But I actually do have a video available on where you can go to get 64-bit installers. Or you could recompile it yourself and do that if you can. Um, otherwise, you can visit that website uh, in the video. I'll put it in the description, maybe add an annotation if I don't forget. And if I do forget, just uh, leave a comment and I will add those things in there. So, uh, hopefully that helps you guys from pulling out your hair too much. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.